Hey there, there are four pillars to attachment science-based parenting. That's different than attachment parenting. A lot of people confuse attachment parenting with attachment science and they're not the same thing. Attachment science comes from heavily researched uh, material that studies the parent or caregiver child bond and connection. And the work of Dr. Dan Siegel is some of the best out there, I think. And this is where some of this comes from that I'm about to share. Attachment parenting is what a lot of people get confused about. And a lot of parents think, oh, I'm going to do attachment based parenting. And that means I just wear my kid all the time and I co sleep with them and I, I'm, I meet their every need. That's not attachment science based parenting. It's not even attachment parenting. It's something else. Uh, yeah, I've got some podcasts on this that I think are interesting, but needless to say, uh, there are four pillars, uh, to attachment science-based parenting. And let me cover those real quick. Okay. The first one is to, uh, they're basically four S's and Dan Siegel talks about these in four S's. Um, and I think they're really useful to remember and to know, um, and remember, the parent's job is to meet a child's needs. And all these pillars are needs. So Dan talks about it as safe, seen, soothed. And then he, he and I differ a little bit here. He talks about security being the fourth. And for me, it's support and challenge. And all of those, once they're met, lead to a secure attachment. So let's cover these real quick. Emotionally, feeling physically and emotionally safe. That's S number one, all right? I think it's pretty pretty obvious what that is. A child needs to feel emotionally and physically safe from the parents, right? The parents are meeting that need. And children who grow up in environments like this, uh, when all these, these needs are met, do better in just about every area of life, right? This is, again, researched. The second pillar or need is seen. It's really important that it, parent is able to see into a child's world, their inner life, see into their emotions, see into who they are, their values, what they care about, and not project their parents' uh, agendas and shoulds and all that stuff onto the child. If you are a parent and you emotionally shut down your kid, they're not only going to feel emotionally unsafe, but they're not going to feel seen. So when I see you and you're sad, I say, you seem sad. You are sad. Gosh, I see your sadness right now. That's a parent seeing a child, all right? Uh, the third S is soothed. And that means when the child gets hurt, the parent is there to reassure, to help out, to reconnect. And it doesn't mean coddling and overprotecting and helicopter parenting. That's not soothing a child. We all know, any good parent knows that it's important actually for kids to get cuts and bruises, uh, to fall down, to make mistakes, etc. Uh, but if the big people aren't there to help them feel safe again after any of these kinds of accidents or traumas happen, the child over time starts to get more and more independent and sees relationship as threatening and that they're not reliable. And then they turn into an adult later in life where the relationship's not, not reliable either. Uh, adult relationships aren't reliable, so they don't trust that much, you know? So soothing is something we do as adults for each other when there's conflict, for example. We met, we come back and make it better, basically. The parent's job is to do that for the child um, when there's a rupture between the parent and the child. The parent leads that charge. The fourth S is what I call supported and challenged. And that is the parent sending a message, I believe in you. I believe in who you are. I got your back. I mean, day in and day out, right? And the child feels like, gosh, I feel so supported by my parents. But not just support. I added challenge because that's essential part of loving someone is to challenge them. So that means setting boundaries, setting limits, um, saying no. Um, it also means pushing children to do things that they don't want to do but that are good for them, like brushing their teeth, um, doing chores, um, you know, apologizing after the child hurts another child. That's the parent needs to challenge the child to do these kinds of things. Um, 
And without the parent's guidance, children tend to, you know, turn could turn into Lord of the Flies over time. So that's why we need a guide as children that's that's holding us in a good way and that's supporting us and challenging us. So those four S's uh, are the four pillars to attachment science-based parenting. And they give kids a sense of self-confidence, self-trust, a sense of security inside their own skin. Like, I'm okay, I can accomplish things, I can do challenging things, and I'm going to be all right. I believe in myself. That kind of attitude is what I think most parents want their children to have. Well, if you want that, you've got to offer these four needs or four pillars to create a secure attachment over time. All right? Awesome. Leave a comment below wherever you saw this video and let us know if this was helpful and anything you, questions you have or challenges you have.